Welcome to the 2022 Fall Victory Summit. We are so glad you are here joining us at 110 Fitness in Rockland, Massachusetts. We are the largest wellness center in the world for people with Parkinson's disease. And on behalf of the Davis Finney Foundation, 110 Fitness, and all the fighters and all their families, we welcome you to an exercise break of boxing. Many of you probably uh, box out there, and how I got involved in this whole boxing slash Parkinson's community was I trained professional fighters, and I'm also a physical therapist, and I was using boxing as a technique for some of my patients that had Parkinson's disease many, many years ago before the research was developed. And so when I found out that boxing actually had hard galvanized research behind boxing and the mitigation of Parkinson's symptoms, it was right up my alley. And so here I am, and this is what we've created. Um, the goal of this class that I'm going to teach you shortly is really just to have just the tip of the iceberg of boxing, maybe learning the six punch count and maybe some uh, moves to move out of the way of punches, what we call slipping in boxing. And we know it's good, again, based on the research by the United States Olympic Committee and all the other people that have done research on boxing and its relation to Parkinson's disease, for stamina reasons, endurance reasons, range of motion, strength, mental aptitude, and what a lot of you might know this term, it's called neuroplasticity. So we know that with the boxing techniques in a very high intensity uh, prescription, that we can actually recreate pathways and actually help protect some of the degeneration of the dopamine cell structure. One of the things that we do here at 110 Fitness is we offer classes every single day, not only in boxing, but all kinds of research evidence-based programming. But what we also do is we have an app. It's called the 110 Fitness app. So if you ever want to go on to the 110 Fitness app and do something virtually with us, you are more than welcome to do that through your Android or your Apple phone. And you can just go to your uh, application store and you can pull it up. It is free for a week. And if you like it and you'd like to stay on board with us, we'd love to have you. If you come to 110 Fitness and it's your first time taking this class, one of the things is, is just showing up is a victory here at 110 Fitness. And we're just happy you're here and that you're ready to move. You'll have somebody who is very, very well trained with you at all times on your first day, what we call corner people or our volunteers. And what you can expect is a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat, and to kind of feel like you're drinking through a fire hose because there's so much information coming to you in this first time that we ask people just to complete the class Take a deep breath, take it all in, respect what your fellow boxers are doing, and know that you will be at that capacity very soon if you show up and do the work. So, one of the things that we like to talk about all the time, and Davis will appreciate this, is that no matter what, when you come to 110 Fitness, every victory counts. All right, team, I brought all my friends with me today. So welcome back to 110 Fitness, the largest wellness center in the world for people with Parkinson's disease. And today, we're gonna give you a brief 10 to 15 minute warm up with all the basics of boxing. First, we're gonna warm up, so if you can just find yourself a jog, lift those knees up and move those arms, swinging them front to back. Just starting to become aware of your body. If you are at home, it is really important that you make sure you have a safe space that you're not on a throw rug, or you're not near any furniture, making sure that you have enough space because we are gonna move today. So make sure the feet are coming off the ground and the arms are swinging front to back. And we're just gonna open up our hips a little bit and stay on those toes. And we're just gonna start to throw our hands out front and just try to loosen up a little bit. You can make a soft fist if you want, keeping your head up, keeping your tummy tight, and just pushing those hands out front trying to find what we call amplitude, which is really long punches, and trying to separate those out so that your hands don't get tangled. Make sure you're breathing, preferably in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then we're gonna drop our hands down and we're gonna do what we call a reverse speed bag. So you're turning your hands, pulling them towards you, keeping your abs tight. The feet are still open and you're on your toes. If you have a hard time putting these two things together. You can start with the feet and add the hands. You can start with the hands and add the feet. If you have an affected side and you feel like that arm is not moving as well as your other, you can grab onto it and you can move it and then see if it will go. Really focus on it, demand more from your body and it will move. 
Awesome, come back to your jog. And go ahead and walk that out. Nice job. All right, real quick, boxing stance. It is very important in boxing. Most of you are righties out there, so we call you orthodox fighters. So you're gonna put your left foot out front and your right foot behind you, like all these fighters behind me. You're gonna bring your hands up to your face and you're gonna turn your body to the right about 45 degrees with the elbows tucked in on the rib cage. And we're gonna go through the six punch count, okay? The first punch is called the jab. It is the left hand and it goes all the way out, okay? Everybody behind me nice and long. Notice the right hand stays up. That is called the left jab, okay? And then we're gonna switch over to two, which is on the right side, which is your right cross, okay? So if we put those together, you may have heard the term a one-two combination. It's a jab cross. It looks just like this. Notice how much hip movement I have. Notice how I'm working off my feet and my punches are long and I'm keeping one hand covering my face every single time. So one left, two right. Now let's talk about three, four. They're also known as hook punches. When you throw the hook, the elbow is level with the floor and you make this nice giant hook. You can land your fist either this way or this way. It does not matter. It's a preference of the coach. And then this is three, so this is four. So we're gonna go three turning the hips, four turning the hips. Left hook, right hook, three, four. Three, four. And the more rotation you add to your hips when you throw these punches, like the fighters behind me, we know that rotation has a really neat neurological effect on Parkinson's by helping break up your rigidity. So lots of big turning here. And then our five and six is our uppercut punches. So number five, left uppercut. Number six, right uppercut. Left uppercut, number five, right uppercut, number six. Notice I'm using my hips and I'm opening up my body, keeping those punches tight here. I'm not out here. I'm just real short and sweet right here. So five, six, five, six, five, six. Good, all right, shake all that out. Let's see if we can put it together. Remember, if you forget anything, one, three, and five is on your left, two, four, and six is on your right, okay? And if you're a southpaw fighter like myself out there, you are a lefty, everything is just the opposite. Your right foot is out front, and your jab hand is actually the right side, okay? So, here we go, six punch count orthodox boxing. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Real quick, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, now let's play some brain games. We have a combination here at 110 Fitness called the kitty cat, and we are gonna tell you that it is a double jab, so it's a left and a left, and then it's a six, right uppercut, and then even though we haven't taught you slips, what we want you to do is just bob and move under and back, and then come up tall and throw your cross again. So in boxing terms, we would call that a one, one, six, slip, two combination, all right? So with us, nice and slow, one, one, six, slip, two. And you should land just like this at the end, right hand's out, and the left hand is on the face for cover, okay? Here we go again, ready? One, one, six, slip, two. Again, one, one, six, slip, two. Are you staying covered? One, one, six, slip, two. Last one, 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 six, slip, two. Beautiful, that's a fun one to play with. Here's your next one, no slip drills. It's called the Carlson. It's a one, two, three, six, three, two combination. If you're out there and you've never boxed, you're probably wondering what in God's earth we're talking about, but this combination is actually quite easy because it goes left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so follow with us slow. Here's your one left jab. Here's your two right cross, and three is your left hook. Uppercut six, hook again three, and two is your cross. One, two, three, six, three, two. Ready? 
One, two, two three, six, three, two. two. Let's go slow. One, two, three, six, three. Lots of good body movement. One, two, three, six, three, two. One, two, three, six, three, two. One, two, three, six, three, two. Nice work. That is the Carlson. All right. Last one. We call it the Tyson. All right. You might know why if you know anything about the boxing legend Mike Tyson. This one is a little tricky, and that's why we're going to polish you off with it today. It's a one, two, one, five, five, slip two. So for all you boxers out there, I know there's a lot of people out there that box who have Parkinson's disease. If you know your numbers, think about that because we keep going back to the left hand, which makes it a little bit tricky. So let's do it slow. One, two, one. So jab, cross, jab. And now we're going back to the left hand again. This is the trick. Uppercut five, uppercut five. And then we're going to slip the left hook and throw the two. Okay? Let's take it together here. One, two, one, five, five, slip, two. Again, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, uppercut, slip, two. Again, one, two, one, five, five, slip, two. Last time, one, two, one, five, five, slip, two. Awesome. We just shared three of our secret sauce with you. So enjoy those, try those at home. And before you leave, give me some one twos out front just to settle you out. Pushing those punches all the way out straight. Good, give me some nice hooks, turning that body. You should be hot by now out there. I know I am. Keeping those elbows up, right? Remember these. And also remember, when we start our uppercuts, that you can always go to your app store, to the 110 Fitness app, and all of this, and over 300 videos available for you in all different categories, where you can get real proficient at all the research-based evidence programming that we have here at 110 Fitness. And one thing that I want to remind you, and everybody here is gonna tell you with a big V, that every Victory. 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 Victory.